All right, guys, here's a couple goodies that uh, were up in my parents' house that accidentally got shipped here. So this right here, you guys have seen the HW44. So this is what it looks like. Whoa. So that's a $1,000 gun right there, and it's super nice. So we're going to uh, unbox this and have a whole review on it shortly here. Um, that's my detachable moderator there that I got. Which uh, in the U.S. they aren't available with a det detachable moderator, but I ordered mine from Crail, so that's cool. And then uh, this is another gun right here that I'm not opening yet. This is from Daystate, and it's actually a limited edition Red Wolf that they only made 200 of. So I was able to get a 25 caliber high power Air Wolf. I'm sorry, Red Wolf, high powered Red Wolf, uh, 25 high power in a limited edition Rosso series. So that's going to be a lot of fun too. We're going to unbox that pretty soon. So there's just a couple things I'm going to be getting to, but right now I'm going to go out and do some accuracy testing with the Y-Rock HW97. This right here is my uh, HW97. If you watch the uh, first HW97 video I did, you'll see that I got this for only $360 at Crail. And this is a stainless steel version. Obviously, it's uh, super, super nice. And uh, the cool thing about this is that it is a spring-powered gun, but it has an under-lever cocking right here, so you don't have to break your barrel every time you cock it, and your barrel stays right where it's supposed to be, uh, which I like a lot better. Um, there's a lot of good things about this gun. One of the things is it has a giant loading port right here, so it's really easy to load it. Um, it's also really accurate. I went ahead and got like about a $200 Hawkeye... Air Max scope here with the Air Max Red AMX reticle, which I really like. So of course this also has a really cool trigger on it. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a famous trigger. It's supposed to be one of the best triggers in air gunning. I believe it's adjustable. Okay, right there is the AMX reticle, and uh, it's kind of hard to see, but you can see it's got half mil dots. Let me just zoom in here. There we go. That's more like it. But you can see it's got half mil dots right there, and uh, at the bottom it kind of has some. Uh, some lines and stuff there, so it makes it really easy to shoot with, and it's uh, specifically designed for air guns, so that's why I like it. Okay, guys, so this right here is my 22 caliber pellet sizer, and so uh, if you want to have really good luck with your shots, you go ahead and uh, run these through here like this. Hit that plunger. Okay, and now, okay, so now, although you probably can't see, there's a little stripe around uh, each side of that pellet, and it's exactly... 5.5 millimeters now. Now, another thing I wanted to mention that, about this gun that I think is really cool is when you cock it, this back right here is actually the safety. And so when I cock it, this is actually gonna put the safety on automatically. So that was actually unsafe. I can't take the safety off now, but basically when you cock it, it put, does automatic safety and then you push this right here to get the safety off. And I really like that feature. So right now I am at exactly Well, you can't see the target, but right there is a target, and it's exactly 25 meters away. So I'm going to go ahead and do some 25-yard accuracy testing with this baby, and then we'll go ahead and push it out to 30 and maybe even 50 yards. Okay, so that's a little more like it. Uh, I actually have... I'm going to call this my dime size group right here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. These are all within a dime right here. And then, of course, these right here are me. And so uh, my dad actually sided this in. And so, obviously, at 25 yards, it's sided in a little high. But uh, now that's a good group right there. That's a, that's a, uh, a dime size group right there. If I take my finger off there, then we got a nickel size group. So uh, that's impressive. That's good for a spring powered gun doing almost a one whole group. I mean, you can't complain. So now, let's see what this thing can do at 35. Yeah, so this right here is actually the size of a dime. And uh, I don't know if you can see this, but the pellets are actually all touching each other, stuck in here like this, so. Um, you know, I'm not a, a perfect shooter. I'm not really used to spring guns, but this ain't bad. This is 35 yards away. And I'm going to call this a one hole nickel dime size group at 35 yards. So, uh, pretty amazing. Pretty good for a spring gun, definitely. Uh, now I can see why this is 
one of the most winningest uh, field target rifles that there is. Okay, so we can see right here, this was my bullseye right here. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six that are all touching. So uh, in, in one hole right there. So very, very impressed. Guys, I got this target at uh, 50 yards away. And so I just want to show you where I'm shooting from. Way over there, uh, I got my nephew there, and uh, he's playing with my rangefinder. And yeah, we're gonna see what we can do at 50. So I pretty much got one, one hole groups, what I call one hole groups, um, at 25 and 35 yards. So uh, see what we can do at 50. So uh, what'd you find there, buddy? You find some range on some stuff? What do you think about that rangefinder? You like it? Yeah. Yes, that's all you're gonna say? Yes. If you had to do a review on the rangefinder or this HW97, what would you say about either of them? What do you think about this HW97, this gun right here? You're speechless? Huh. Oh man, that's not that's not good YouTube, I buddy. You gave me the uh? The uh is uh. another way you can say yes. Yes, that you like it? Uh, you shot a cam with this gun earlier, huh? It's only 49 yards away. It's only 49. That's not going to work out. How often did it give you 50? All right, guys, uh, this is my 50-yard group, and I was basically aiming right here, and uh, so you can see right here, that's pretty good right there, but um, of course, I hit all these around here too as well. I only have a 3 by 9 scope on there, so I don't know if this was me or if the group opened up, but I would guess that uh, with some skilled shooting, you could get a group like this at 50 yards with this gun. So uh, definitely, the HW97 did not disappoint. It's a, a great gun. I hear a lot of people use it in field target, and uh, definitely it uh, does a job around this place for uh, keeping blue jays out of the blueberry fields and stuff like that. So I went ahead and gave that gun to my dad, and I think he's going to have plenty of luck with it. Uh, at least for sure hitting birds at 35 yards would be real easy. Wait, you got to stand by your group, buddy. So this guy right here, how old are you? Eight. Eight years old, and he just shot this group right here from... That was one of his, these are all his, from about 20 yards away, so. Not bad, he almost hit the black right there. Good job, Tanner. Considering this rifle is uh, taller than him and he can barely hold it. Alright, there's the carnage right there, 35 yards away, uh, raspberries. Now we're going to go ahead and do something a little easier, apples. Alright, not bad, uh, I definitely hit where I was aiming. Okay guys, so uh, here's some of the carnage. That guy's uh, in poor shape. Another bullseye right there. This one obviously got shot twice. And another... Apple. Apple, that's been... Must have a lot of sugar in it.
All right, guys, in conclusion, I think the uh, Y-Rock HW97 is definitely a very high-quality gun. It's, uh, it's rattle-free. It doesn't rattle. It's very solidly built. It feels good. It looks good. And it shoots good. So, um, now definitely, this is a spring gun, piston, spring-powered gun, and it's not going to be as easy to shoot as a PCP. So uh, if you want something that takes a little bit of skill, uh, be a little bit of a journey, uh, getting good at shooting it, this is a good gun for you. Um, if you just want something that you're just going to be able to shoot super easily and accurately right out of the box, then uh, I would take your $500 and uh, just go ahead and buy a $300 PCP and a $200 pump and, uh, and you'll be set. But this is definitely a nice gun and uh, if you're interested in a spring powered gun, then this is a... Uh, one of the two that you should get. This is basically the HW97K, and uh, the other one that a lot of people use, like to use is the Air Arms TX200, I believe. So, uh, yeah, it's a good gun. Definitely get one. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Looks like I got a uh, SR19, so I got number 119 of 200 made. Special edition. What are you talking about? All right, guys. Uh, I got my limited edition Red Wolf number one nineteen of two hundred made. Only fifty in the U.S. And uh, a little disappointed though, because when I opened it, it was broken in half. So uh, basically, but boy, what a beautiful stock! Boy, it just looks like a Ferrari, doesn't it? And I got a carbon fiber shroud right here. But uh, yeah, hopefully they'll be able to uh, hook me up with a new stock right here. But for now, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and put this back in the case and uh, send it back to wherever I got it 